you decide on what you want to do and you have to enjoy the process <laughs> hi everybody today we have garvit with me who is uh, going to graduate or he has already graduated and he's done his final collection with the entire batch and this is at iid he is going to take us through his collection and uh, the entire story of the past 6 months of grilling and everything that has gone through so garvit welcome to the channel hello and uh, i'm really happy to have you in this channel so let's start with uh, how was your journey entirely in fashion design and your entire career well entirely it was a lot of ups and downs it was like mostly downs to be honest but at the same time i had my moments good moments bad moments and things like that but then it's been a really really good ride so yeah <laughs> okay uh I really loved your collection and the way you have taken uh, uh, your personal interest. I feel there's a lot of personal interest and a reflection of you that has come to the collection, and uh, you've added that and then further developed it. Is that something like that? You want to talk about your collection a little bit? Yeah, of course. So my collection revolves around alienation, and the theme of it is extraterrestrial unknowns. So we talk about how uh, people would reside on Mars, a different habitat, uh, where people can have different structure to them and all those different things around mars only i still remember in the initial time of the the last semester or the term you had uh, done some other different stories there were some gaming that you had tried and then you moved into some uh, greek era and all yeah, that so yeah. do you want to tell us about that ups and downs and moves which was and what yeah. where and finally where you arrived so before that tell us about what all were you trying to explore so basically the thing started from my research paper which was around gaming uh, in particularly valorant so i started from gaming because i as a kid i always had interest in gaming and i wanted to go more in depth into how dresses are made in gaming how the garments are made for their skins and gaming and things like that that's where it started then it came around uh, the movie gladiator and i was going into roman history how they used to dress and i wanted to get inspired from rome and the gaming and take a fusion of them and make something of my own that's where it began and then i realized ki that is something not which is not something i wanted to go towards because then it was going totally towards the history of rome and draping and things like that which i'm not that much delved into and after that it became there came a point where i did had a conversation with you as well that how i can change this into something which is more of my style of more of my type from there the concept came up of taking a different habitat taking a different culture of taking alienation futurism into my concept and then moving forward with the things that i've constructed now the design journey is not always predictable so this is a perfect example where garvit started with a gaming uh, uh, platform as a as an example that time i'm very sure at, dur during the time of january or something he was very sure that okay i'm going to take up valorant as a game to my final collection he was he was picturing that already <laughs> right but then came changes and then came uh, the the mythology of greek and all that and kind of moved the direction to different path and finally if you see the final output it has nothing to do with that but it was a process so the process of design is one of the most important aspect because sometimes you feel that uh, uh, that first thought is the final thought but then that is not really it you evolve with that and you realize things and you take the take the leap out of that right so a little bit uh yeah of course like one thing which i noticed and it was happening with quite a lot of people as well we were thinking of what would be the final collection would be before we start the collection so it was like i had in my mind ki uh, mera collection how would it look yeah. and things like that before even starting the process of making that collection so that's why we like kind of stop in between and then realize oh this is not what we wanted it is just a thought in our head ki we wanted this way but it just happens naturally you can't predict your final collection you just have to go with the process how do you keep yourself different from the rest of your batchmates first of all i think my process moves around in a very linear manner hmm. and i've seen most of the designers they are they go back and forth with things i also do go back and forth with things but i like to keep my things very well managed and organized in a way that i know these steps would be followed to get the final product so that is something which i do differently and at the same time my digital work uh, also gives me a little edge around things like i can illustrate and things like that which makes me a little different from other people and kind of my usp if we have to speak like that are you really happy with the the entire show that went just yesterday are you happy with your sequence the models the entire presentation 
uh, what what how do you feel about your show on the ramp of course i loved it it was a great experience it was the first time experience for me as well so for me it was like a every garment constructed it was very overwhelming for me because i had to see them walking people applauding and the whole thing takes a lot of effort takes a lot of time so many people managing it and it was a it was a really really good experience for me so yeah so i just want to tell everybody that uh, and i'm sure he'll also validate for the past 6 months they've been working days and nights and everything even sundays and saturdays crazily to work on this collection and finally that that final platform was just a moment of maybe 2 3 minutes that you get finally so just be mindful that when you are opting to become a fashion designer those moments that you see on television or you see it on magazines the entire glam it is just a moment of like few minutes or maybe maximum an hour the major part goes at the back end where you are you are you're working on the concepts you're working on the entire process you're stitching sewing fighting with everybody sourcing things and getting things around right so yeah uh, is that is that, do you agree with that yeah totally totally like the final thing for me like my work was 1 minute 13 seconds <laughs> and for that 1 minute 13 seconds i had to work for 6 months day in and day out to just get that right and every second of it was worth it so garvit is now going to take us through his journal and his entire design process so garvit let's go so this is where we started from it was basically the game i was talking about valorant and things like that how i developed that environment how i was inspired by gaming their characters and then understanding what their characters are into their weapons and stuff like that then i was also into graphic stuff so i was also understanding env- uh, environmental design how it works how the typography and all of those things work then became the part where gladiator came into the picture uh, greek mythology their architecture roman architecture their accessories then so how i just want to interrupt a little bit uh, these are these beginning stuff these were these never made it to the final collection yeah. right but this was a part of the process so sometimes we come across such process that uh, you you will explore few things you will reject few things that is the uh, that is the process of iteration and then finally come up to something totally something else and sometimes i'll tell you sometimes you'll even come back to the first original thought that you came but then at least you would have ensured that uh, you have gone through the entire process and you've done that exploration so yeah let's move forward so yeah then became all of those process like character making developing those characters having different swatches for those iterating things like that understanding the move with dune because my concept was around uh, futurism and just like those things so i was understanding that movie as well then like slowly slowly it became the way it is now then i came into the main thing extraterrestrial unknowns that was the main concept around it life beyond earth what the what mars had to offer in my things it was again characterization but in a very different form now i was taking inspiration from mars their color palette understanding alienation and how things worked how alienation was a concept for me uh making characters uh making different silhouettes understanding forms of it then taking and again looking into fashion keep looking into fashion and how ramp works how people because my main color palette was around red and black so i was trying to understand how red and blacks worked in accordance to each other then i started making my looks making their processes making sure that all of those align to each other making a range plan then it was around fittings uh fabrics understanding those things so yeah it was mostly around those things and then your final looks then my final looks were these those were my final looks that was my final range plan these were my process sheets how all of those look f- came forward with keywords with visuals with characters and it became a thing that it is now so garvit that was fantastic we really loved the collection everybody and uh I'm sure you guys are also enjoying the collection right now. It's uh, uh, it has really come out amazing. And uh, uh, with that, I just want to end this video by saying that this is the entire design process where you learn so many things. And uh, thanks, Garvit, for Thank taking you. us through your collection. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Want to say anything? <laughs> just chill out, guys. <laughs> <laughs>